Uh, it is based on optimism, but in terms of actual data, not yet. Uh, markets are anticipating that the second half of the year will be different for the global economy than it was in the first half. And this has a lot to do with the story in China. China is the biggest contributor to the growth in the world economy. It contributes about $800 billion of new GDP to the world. Uh, the U.S. A $20 trillion economy growing at 2 percent contributes only half that. And so it is what matters most, China. And the story there is that uh, the, the credit is expanding again. And when credit uh, is allocated, ultimately it's spent and uh, buoys economies. And it should help the world. So there, it is justified based on optimism. It wouldn't be surprising to see the major averages in the United States, the stock market averages, reach all-time highs relatively soon. Whether they can sustain them will be the question. And that will depend upon realized data, the actual news in the second half of the year. Tony, we've just kind of started earnings season. The big banks are on deck right now. They're the ones who are going to provide some of that market catalyst. We're showing viewers right now just how far away we are from record highs. Is it important in this earnings season to see some kind of optimism from these companies as well for us to make, make that next leg higher in the markets? Absolutely, because uh, the, the U.S. S&P 500 historically has traded in a range of between 14 and 16 times earnings. The current level is around 16. So for it to go higher, this multiple, for stock prices to go higher, they need to be confident in earnings momentum. Earnings momentum has been poor such that uh, the earnings per share levels uh, for the S&P 500 have gone negative. There has to be a sense amongst investors that this will turn and that earnings momentum will improve and that will enable the P.E. potentially to go up, especially, and it's possible because uh, the interest rate climate globally is very favorable for it. But uh, there de does need to be better news at some point. It can't simply be based on optimism. All right, so that, that's the stock side of things. You, you obviously have a very close eye on the bond market right now as well. In your mind, I, I look at a man like, you know, Fed Chair Jay Powell, I look at Mario Draghi at the European Central Bank, Haruhiko Kuroda over at the Bank of Japan, Mark Carney at the Bank of England. Which of these folks has the hardest job in managing their respective economies at this stage, politics aside? The Federal Reserve, uh, because in Japan, our forecast is for the Bank of Japan to keep its policy rate at zero, where it's been for near 20 years, for another five years. Europe, the same. The highest we see the ECB putting its policy rate at any time in the next five years is zero. So in other words, there isn't much to do there. Not much will happen in Japan or Europe in terms of the interest rate levels. The United States has, but, but let me just quickly say, there are challenges for the central bank. They simply won't have a lot to do won't be able to do much. It's the fiscal authority that will have to take action. In the United States, it's trickier because it's trying to balance the Federal Reserve, uh, picking, letting the economy pick up against this idea that perhaps it will let, let it pick up too much, or perhaps it should let it pick up more and let it run hot, so to speak. It has a delicate balance to strike with, in terms of the amount of growth to allow, if you will, in order to raise inflation expectations. So, so Tony, before we let you go, uh, just a few moments left here. Are interest rate levels right now in the United States, given the 10-year at 2.56 percent, appropriate given the economic outlook that we have? Yes, and they're not likely to move much. In fact, the low interest rate climate globally probably persists till 2030. They're just simply two forces involved, including demographics and so on and so forth. We can take us a long time to talk about it. They're going to be with the world for a long time. So the rate level in the United States is largely fair, if you will. The rates might climb a little bit, but very, very small. They're in a, in a range, roughly in the range they're going to be for some time.